Hey, this is Quinn from buymeaniphone.com and this is my video review on CopterKit available for 99 cents in the App Store. Now, CopterKit is a very fun game. I've gotten it just a few days ago, but I found myself playing it more and more and even more than some of the big applications I use all the time. Now, CopterKit is very, very interesting in that it has its own little storyline. Now, the story is, is uh, there's two sisters, Cassie and Calvin and Cassie and Calvin are brothers and sisters and they went into a cave one day and found a pair of propeller hats. Now this was quite unusual and they were able to control these propeller hats and fly around the world with their mind. Now naturally Calvin and Cassie were targeted by scientists, UFOs, Zeppelins and a bunch of other things that were trying to get them down. And your goal is to steer away and get away from them. Now this game reminds me a lot of the classic game Helicopter where in helicopter you hold down the screen, it lets your helicopter go up and down, and you're able to steer and get out of the way of obstacles. Well, this is the same idea, but it's a little bit revamped. Now, the thing I really like about Copter Kid is the graphics are incredible, very well done art, and the music is very, very catchy. So let's get started. Let's say we want to be Calvin. We simply select Calvin from the menu, and it loads relatively quickly. So all you have to do is touch the screen to fly up. That'll begin your game, and based on the distance you go, that's the number of points you get. Now I only went 17 feet, 17 yards, I don't know the measurement, but I only got a very few points because I crashed right off the ground. But as you go into this game, it's going to get a lot harder and more obstacles will come upon you. Now everything is an obstacle, those sheep, those zeppelins, that UFO, that house, that airplane. So these things are all trying to kill you and it gets really, really tricky and difficult as the game progresses. Now, your goal is to steer out of the way of these and you simply do that by pushing, oh, had Calvin had any jewels, that would have been painful. So what you do is you control Calvin by holding down. When you're ready to let him go down, you let go. When you're ready to have him go up, you hold down the screen again. So up is pushing, down is letting go. By pushing the screen with two fingers, you're able to pause the game and come back later to finish your intense game of Copter Kid. Now there's a bunch of different sceneries as you progress further and further. Cities, other places, and other areas that you're able to go into. There's also night and day modes, and it gets a little bit trickier as time goes on. Now me, I'm not good enough to get to these levels, and uh, it is a bit of a difficult game. Now the good thing about this is unlike a lot of games in the App Store, you don't have to spend hours and hours getting good at this. Oh. It's more of a talent game in that it's timing, counting, precision, uh, fast reflexes, and it's not really skill or thought involved, so you don't want to crash into those cheap. Now, it does have an online leaderboard. Uh, before we get to that, we're just going to select Cassie's our character. It's the same idea, same mode. You do the same exact thing. You fly around, and uh, it's very, very simple. Now, if you can tell, the graphics in this game are incredible looking. I mean, even though it is a cartoon, the art is just really, really, really well done. I was very impressed by the clouds, by the background. It's not your typical uh, 99 cent game. The menus are very well done. It's never crashed on me. It looks great. It feels great. And it's really just a good purchase. This music is so addicting. Oh. So they have some pretty brutal crashes. So we're going to go to the leaderboard here. If we flip our phone into portrait mode, we're able to get the leaderboard here. Sorry. Now if we flip into leaderboard, we're able to get the portrait mode here. There's your local scores as well as the global scores. Now you're able to submit your scores and your high scores, mine is 566, which is not good at all, I'm sorry. But the cool thing is you can post with Facebook. You can connect with Facebook, post it to your friend's news feed, and you can even post it on your own wall. Now, I don't have this set up because I'm not an avid Facebook user, but that's an option that's available to you. Hopefully one day they'll have Twitter connection. You can also look at the global leaderboard. These are all the scores and these are all the people that are way high. Now I'm ranked number 65 globally, but that's because there are very, very few people that have this game. Um, out of the 70 people that own this game, I'm fifth to last. That's encouraging. Uh, but you can see all these people, all their high scores, and uh, that's probably the developer, if I had to guess. Because, I mean, look at this, 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, that's good, but then it jumps up to 12 and 15. 
So I would imagine that takes a while because mine was 556. I was going for probably a minute. So what's that? 20, 25 minutes playing the game without crashing. That's pretty dang good in my opinion. Uh, and then you can submit your scores if they're updated. You push accept and it's a success and you can post it or if not you just push close and your high score is disclosed. Unfortunately, it does not do this automatically. There's a very good detailed instruction manual with the stories, the controls, your different enemies, your shields, etc, etc. And shield I didn't really touch up on. The shield randomly appears in the game. And you're able, you have to crash into it, you have to collect it. But uh, Copter Kid will have 30, or not 30, 60 seconds of vulnerability. This is huge. It's really, really cool. But if you hit an object and your shield's gonna start flashing and in five seconds it's gone. So you should use your shield wisely. Okay, so that's pretty much Copter Kid. It's 99 cents in the App Store. It's kind of more of a typical gamer. If you like scoops, if you like all those other more, if you like scoops, if you like the kind of pick up and play games, Copter Kid is definitely for you. This is the first game into the App Store from the developers, but it's very well developed. It looks good, it's well done. Hopefully there will be more updates in the future, bringing us more levels, more kids to play with. That sounded gross. And a bunch of other stuff. Thanks guys for watching, this is Quinn from BuyMeAnIPhone.com, and have a good one.